Hello, cloud enthusiasts. First of all, your support is crucial in bringing more educational videos like this. So please don't forget to subscribe. In this video, we are going to explore the value proposition of cloud computing. Traditionally, organizations have been hosting their application platforms on the servers installed in data centers. This model has been very successful until the cloud infrastructure became mainstream, which offered enormous benefits over traditional computing paradigms. Now let's discuss how organizations running their applications in conventional data centers can benefit by moving to the cloud. The first one is upfront cost. In traditional models, organizations have to purchase hardware and hire professionals who can set it up in data centers. Organizations have to pay upfront for all the costly servers and professional services. And once they are done installing, they have to spend cycles maintaining and upgrading the hardware every few years. This is often termed as capital expense model or CapEx. On the other hand, there is mostly no upfront cost in setting up your cloud computing platform. Most of the services are offered as pay as you go model. You are charged only for what you use. So you trade CapEx with variable expense model or OPEX. The second is long procurement cycles. Suppose there is a need for additional hardware to launch a new product or provide additional capacity for existing applications. In that case, they need to go through a long cycle of getting funding approved, research the right hardware, place an order, wait for weeks or months for it to arrive, and then wait for someone to install it in the data center before it is ready to use. This is a very long and tedious process. In cloud computing, hardware resources are treated as software, allowing you to set up thousands of computers in a matter of minutes. The third is capacity planning. Without knowing the future application demands, traditionally organizations have to make predictions and guess the hardware capacity to handle peak loads. If the peak load occurs only once a month, the server is sitting idle most of the time. Hence, the infrastructure is over-provisioned. On the contrary, if the traffic increases more than they predicted it, then the installed hardware will be under-provisioned and result in degraded customer experience. Cloud computing platforms are elastic, meaning you can scale up as your demand increases and scale down when traffic tapers off. The fourth one is resilience. To make the architecture resilient, organizations have to set up more than one data center. Depending on the disaster recovery needs, additional data center setup mostly sits idle, wasting many resources. Whereas in a cloud platform, infrastructure can be deployed in a different region in a matter of minutes and traffic can be routed easily to that new region. The fifth one is agility. When organizations have to do all this heavy lifting every time they deploy a new application or feature, it takes valuable time away from their professional resources, which can instead be doing work that differentiates the business from its competitors. In cloud computing, Businesses can focus on the things that make more sense for the company. The sixth is economies of scale. As a small to medium organization, when you order hardware, there are often minimal pricing negotiations, so you end up paying a higher price. Compare this to the cloud providers who can negotiate a better price based on the large order 
which is often beneficial for the end consumers. And the last one is global access. If your customer base is spread worldwide, it would be too time consuming and challenging to set up data centers in different parts of the world. That's not the case with cloud computing. With global region availability, you can expand globally in minutes, providing lower latency and a better user experience. This concludes our session on cloud computing advantages. You can further explore by following the link to documentation in the description. And don't forget to comment below and share your learning experiences with us.